settle down so in the previous class <laughs> we are doing the problems relating to capital asset pricing model today we will be continuing and completing the first slot then we will discuss a concept called as portfolio beta a very small concept only and we will also do some number of problems in portfolio beta. If you have time today, we will have an introduction to the concept called as levered beta, unlevered beta and proxy beta. But today let us first try to complete other problems in CAPM as well as the concept of portfolio beta. Now please settle down. Now let us see what has been done in this chapter till now before we proceed further. To value an asset, we require a discount rate. Please, stop talking. Because value of an asset is nothing but present value of the future benefits discounted at the Require rate of return. So for valuation, we require a discount rate. Discount rate in turn depends on the risk of the asset. When I say risk of the asset, how certain is the benefit is only we call as risk of the asset. So we need to know two things: how to measure a risk, and number two, what return one should ask for a given level of risk taken. These are the two main issues we try to assess in this chapter portfolio theories. We said we will be discussing this chapter in six segments. Risk return profile, Markowitz portfolio theory, capital asset pricing model, then the arbitrage pricing theory, short single index model and efficient market hypothesis in which we completed risk return profile markovage and we are in the process of doing the capital asset pricing model which is a very regularly asked part in the examination so first we discuss about risk return profile when you see a security financial instrument you want to know two things about it before you go for investment what is the return expected from that particular investment Number two, what is the risk of that return? The expected return we call it as average return, whether it is scenario analysis or past historical analysis. The word expected return means average return. It may be simple average if we go for the past data. It can be weighted average if we understand the return through scenario analysis. The risk of a security is its standard deviation. Standard deviation of x is equal to square root of sigma x minus x bar the whole square divided by n. Next, when you find out the return and risk using a sample data, in that case, the standard deviation formula changes to square root of sigma x minus x bar the whole square divided by n minus 1. We discussed in the previous class. Number 2. In case of probability, sigma x is equal to square root of sigma p into x minus x for the whole square. How a single security can have a risk as well as a return? A group of securities or a portfolio of assets may also be having a return as well as risk. Return of a portfolio is the weighted average return of the individual securities inside the portfolio. Risk of a portfolio is square root of w1 square sigma x square plus w2 square sigma y square plus 2 w1 w2 sigma x sigma y correlation of x and y square root gives you the standard deviation of portfolio the formula has three influencing factors risk of the individual securities the proportion in which i am investing importantly co-movements so co-movement is measured through correlation coefficient which can range from minus 1 to plus 1. Minus 1 means perfectly ne correlated, perfect negative correlation 
plus 1 means perfect positive correlation. When correlation is minus 1, I can get the maximum benefit through diversification. Plus 1, no benefit can be obtained through diversification. Minus 1 correlation, sigma p becomes w1 sigma x minus w2 sigma y. Plus 1 becomes w1 sigma x plus w2 sigma y. Earlier we discussed with minus 1 correlation, this can even be reduced to 0. Having a proper proportion. Proportion of x is equal to sigma y by sigma x plus sigma y. Proportion of y is equal to sigma x by sigma x plus sigma y. Correlation is found out using the formula covariance of x and y divided by sigma x into sigma y. Then we saw got a three security portfolio. The sigma p becomes w1 square sigma x square plus w2 square sigma y square plus w3 square sigma z square plus 2 w1 w2 sigma x sigma y correlation of x and y plus 2 w1 w3 sigma x sigma z correlation of x and z plus 2 w2 w3 sigma y sigma z correlation of y and z the square root like that for n security portfolio we will be having n square terms n variance terms n in the n minus 1 covariance term as the number of security increases individual security risk becomes insignificant their common becomes very important then we discuss about the markowitz theory in a low risk low return portfolio if we inject a high risk high return security the return increases but the risk may decrease due to the correlation coefficient but the decrease in risk will not be forever. After some time, return also increases, risk also increases. The curve moves leftwards, upwards, and then take a right turn. The leftmost point on the curve we call as minimum variance portfolio. For a correlation not minus 1, minimum variance portfolio is proportion of A is equal to sigma B square minus sigma A sigma B correlation of A and B divided by sigma A square plus sigma B square minus 2 sigma A sigma B into correlation of A and B. Like that one can find out for proportion of B. Now we just from minimum variance portfolio the curve will become an efficiency frontier. What Markowitz says that you have to invest the money only in the efficiency frontier which consists of portfolios which are efficient portfolio. What is an efficient portfolio? If there exists no other portfolio that gives higher return for a lower risk, higher return for a same risk, same return for a lower risk. Now in that efficiency frontier where to invest depends on the investor's preferences for which he use a utility curve where we had something called as risk aversion. Investors are classified into three types, risk lovers, risk neutral and risk averse investor. Risk lovers like to pay money even to take the risk just for the sake of excitement. Risk averse as a risk neutral will be indifferent towards risk or no risk. But risk averse doesn't want to take risk. If you want him to take risk, we will ask for a premium. All investors are assumed to be risk averse investor. In that case, every investor will be having a utility curve. It depends on its risk aversion factor called as E. The curve formula is given by utility is equal to expected return plus uh, expected return minus half into A into sigma security the whole square. That gives you the utility. Put the utility curve into the efficiency frontier. Point of tangency will be the efficient portfolio as per Markowitz. But we disputed that by saying that we can even combine risk-free asset. When the asset is combined with the efficient portfolios in the share market, then we having a line of tangency, which is called as capital allocation line. Either invest the entire money in the risk-free asset or in the point of tangency or in their combination or borrow and invest. In all these cases, uh, we'll be having a efficiency frontier called as capital allocation line. In that, the return of a capital allocation line is WRF, RF plus WS, RS. And the risk of the capital allocation line portfolio is sigma P is equal to WS, sigma S. Then we did some problem also regarding the capital allocation line. We further said that if all investors have the same efficiency frontier, same expectation, everybody will be investing in the same capital asset. So it becomes from CAL to CML, capital market line. 
where there is a portfolio called as market portfolio in which all the investors will be investing that is having a return as well as risk the return on market portfolio is called as rm the risk is called as sigma m and this is measured through the index movement the market portfolio prices are represented by the change in index so the return of the market portfolio is year end index minus year beginning index divided by year beginning index plus dividend yield reported by the stock exchange and so on and then we discuss about the next area called as capital market line before that in security market line we have the formula return of portfolio rp is equal to rf plus sigma p by sigma m into rm minus rf then we discuss about CAPM. CAPM says that risk can never be reduced to zero. There is still some risk that cannot be reduced even if you go for full diversification. That is called as systematic risk or non-diversifiable risk. So this is called of two types, systematic, unsystematic. Unsystematic risk are company specific, can be diversified away. Systematic risk are in the system itself common to all the companies, cannot be diversified away. Here uh, the systematic risk examples are all risk coming out of the macroeconomic factors. Unsystematic risk is the risk that is company specific like litigations against a company, product profile, etc. etc. Then we saw that a person should ask premium only for the systematic risk. He should not ask premium for the unsystematic because unsystematic risk can be diversified away. So CAPM gave an equation called as SML. Tell me what is SML? KE is equal to R plus beta into R minus R. Any investor wants minimum want return, risk every return. But for taking a risk, he wants a premium. If he invest in market portfolio, what the premium he want? RM minus RM. That is the equilibrium premium he called. Yes or no? So for taking the company risk, what premium he want? Beta times RM minus RM. What is beta? Beta measures risk. A beta of two times means if the market portfolio return changes by 1%, the security return changes by 2%. High beta stocks are having more than one beta. Low beta stocks, less than one. Equilibrium beta stock is equal to one. This beta can be calculated in three ways at present, namely change in security return divided by change in market return. The second way is sigma S by sigma M into correlation of S and M. Third is covariance of security and market divided by sigma M the whole squad. Now, this SML and CML, how they are different? In CML, the equation is R plus sigma P by sigma M into R minus R. Here it is R plus sigma S by sigma M into correlation of S and M into R minus R. Only extra term in SML is what? Correlation. Because I don't ask the premium for the entire sigma S. I want the premium only for that sigma S which is correlated to the market movement. Is the next issue we discuss. Right or not? Next. Then we discuss about underpricing or overpricing. You for any security, we have to find out SML KE. That is RF plus beta into RF minus RF. For the market portfolio, if I want so much return, for this sigma S, yes, what should be the return I should be asking? Find out the equilibrium discount rate. Using that value, the share, with this present value of the future benefit. Most of the examinations, sum, we value the share using D1 by KE minus G formula. What we get, we call as fair price. This we compare with what price? Market price. If market price is more than the fair price, then the market is overpricing it. Market price is less than fair price market is underpricing is other way of understanding is you find out the SMLKE that is your required return yes or no also find out the expected return the expected return may be past average or future scenario based of our given market price find out KE is equal to D1 by P0 plus G the expert return is what you believe the share will be giving and required is what you know that share should be giving. If what share is giving is more than what should be giving, share is a good share. The expert return more than the SML return, share is underpriced. The expert return less than SML return, share is overpriced. Is equal to means equilibrium pricing is what we discuss in this chapter till now. Everybody is or no. I made a very quick summary fast that itself took so much time. Now, chapter is now only halfway through. We are having what? Short single index, arbitrage, and then what? Efficient market, other half is that. 
but this is such is a chapter, it's a very big chapter. No. The reason it is big is because it is not a chapter, it is a subject. This is what a subject in its own right. In most of the MBA courses, they have 100 marks paper for what? Portfolio management itself. We try to condense it and what? Discuss as crisp as possible. Condensation, it is so much. I cannot reduce it further. Everybody following up now. Can I go to the next stage? Now. Take question number 15. Now, we are doing the CAPM sums. Yes or no? Now. In which, now let us continue with the problems. Today also, you need not worry too much. I am not going to burden you with lot of words. We are going to only do deeds only. By doing what? Lot of problems. Can you proceed? Take question number 15. See, during these phases of classes only, you should be helping me to move the portions faster because I cannot explain faster. I don't want to explain faster. I have to explain only what slowly. I may repeat my explanation. But sums can be done faster. It is not because this is your writing speed, calculating and telling. If you are agile, I am also what? Very happy and I will be moving faster. Problems. All of you involve yourself, participate and do the calculations. Take question number 15. Please. An investment advisor, first of all, is mic audible to everybody? Yes, sir. Is okay or not? No. I think yesterday there was a problem in mic, na? Yes, sir. Okay. No. An investor, an investment advisor has been monitoring the equity share of Spicy Food Limited, SFL, over the past one year. On the basis of his assessment of the fundamentals of the company and his expectations on the stock market conditions during the next six months, he has provided the following projections. Tell me, is he a lazy investor looking at past or this advisor is a very productive person based on future estimations are future estimations he is doing historic analysis or scenario analysis yeah. scenario analysis now next there can be one two three four five six scenarios scenario one is having a probability of 10 percent scenario two having probability of 15 percent 3 20 4 25 5, 20 percent and the scenario 6, 10 percent. These are all the 6 scenarios that may happen is what we believe and is given a probability for those scenarios. Okay. If these scenarios happen, the SFL share is expected to give a return of 10 percent, 16 percent, 20, 26, 30 and then what? 36. Tell me what is 26? If the scenario 4 happens, for which the probability is how much? 25%. He is saying that the company can report an earnings of how much percent? 26% on my investment. That's what is so no. Now, for all these scenarios, how we estimated what the company may give, same way also estimated how the market portfolio will behave. He estimated the index also for the following scenarios. So all the six scenarios, the index return also has been given. Everybody following up? Now, next. You are required to calculate the following. Expected return under scarf, SFL share. The expected return under scarf, market index. The beta coefficient of SFL share. That's a question. It's an examination problem for 10 marks. Okay. Now, can you start doing the solution or not? Now, again, I just want to understand how all this happens. See. Person doing scenario analysis identifies various possible scenarios. Generally, most of the HSBC banks, other banks give projections for a country itself. Yes or no? Based on the quarter three performance, what may happen in the next quarter? They give the projections for the country on basis of different events. Okay, if the monsoon is proving to be what good, what is going to happen to the 
overall GDP or the index, if the monsoon is poor, what is going to happen? If the government changes, what is going to happen? If this government comes, what will be? What is going to happen? If Amadni becomes prime minister, what is going to be the effect on what? Stock market, like that. Different, different scenarios, it may be the what is say weather there is a monsoon etc it may be the government it may be a recent parliament session where expected bills may be passed or what may not be passed your yeah, industry is affected by what so many scenarios for all the scenarios what they do is they predict how the market will behave that is what happens to the index point all this are prediction how the market will behave and they also predict how the given company share will prevail at a given market price because i cannot find the return without knowing a price or not this is for a given market price what is going to be happen to the share return for this assign also what probability this is what we refer to as scenario analysis everybody following up now in with this data they ask you to find out number one you expect a return of the share a yeah, share can have a return and risk or not yes share can have a return and risk market portfolio can have what a return and risk it or not now what is the expected return of a share from the sfl share will i expect 36 percent or 10 percent or no i expect what average what average weighted average for the expected return of market index 12 or 30 average what average weighted average second question is what is the beta coin that is expected risk the risk is nothing but what standard deviation tell me what the formula for standard deviation square root of sigma p into s minus s bar the whole square here is going to be what square root of sigma p into m minus m bar the whole square they also also calculate what beta coefficient what is the formula for beta covariance of security and market divided by sigma m the whole square what is covariance of security and market sigma p into s minus s bar into m minus m bar and divided by sigma m the whole square already we calculate sigma m square root you see the beta response is or no last class we did the sum and now we are doing the sum last class is based on past historical data it is based on what scenario analysis beta calculation with probability that is without probability everybody respond are you following up can you start doing the solution together let's start with the solution write on question number 15 right question number 15 Shall we start or not? No. Okay. First, right? Probability. We will all do it together. Also, calculate. Don't copy from the slide. Do and tell me what is in the slide. Okay. First, probability. What is the probability? 0 0.10. 10 percent means what? 0 0.10. 0 0.15. 0 0.20. 0.20.10. If your total probability always should be what? 1. Now all mutually exclusive events, total should be what? 1. Can I proceed? Next. Second item is what? The security. Yes. I call SFL share as yes. What is return of yes expected for all these six scenarios? Tell me 10, 16, 20, 26. 30 and then 36. 10, 16, 20, 26, 30 and then what? 36. Okay, written or not? No. Below that, right? Working note. Write on working note. Calculation of working note. Calculation of weighted average return of security. Calculation of Weighted average return of security. Calculation of weighted average return of security. Bracket like S bar. Average is called as what? S bar na. It is mean. S bar. Bracket close. Now, right? S bar is equal to. Let's do it together. S bar is equal to. Tell me what into what? 0.10 into 10 plus. Right along with me. 0.10 into 10 plus. Next is what? 0 0.15 into 16 plus 0 0.20 into 20 plus 
I want you to do and tell me. Don't wait for my slide. You tell me what is the number here? How much here? 20.5. 20.5 yeah? 23.5. Yes bar is equal to 23.5. Yes bar is equal to 23.5. I think I am able to follow or not? Next. Right? In the main table, M. Right? Next what? M. What is yes? What is M? Tell me. If I invest in the security, this is all the probable returns. What is M? It is also investment. Invest in one security, a market, a market. Investment in what? A market portfolio. Which is always captured through what? Index. Can I proceed? No. How security has a price? Market has got what? Index. That's the only change. Right? M. Tell me what is M return? Tell me what the market index return? 12, 16, 18, 22, 24, 30. 12, 16, 18, 22, 24, and then 30. 22, 24, and 30. Can I push it or not? Next. Write down. Working out 2. Working out 2. Working out 2. Calculation of average return of market portfolio. Working out 2. Calculation of Average return of market portfolio. Calculation of average return of market portfolio. Calculation of average return of market portfolio. In bracket write what? M bar. It is nothing but what? M bar. Write down. M bar is equal to, write out M bar is equal to 0.1 into 12 plus 0.1 into 12 plus 0.15 into 16 plus 0.20 into 18 plus 0.25 into 22 plus 0.20 into 24 plus 0.10 into 30 0.10 into 30 what number here 20.5 20.5 the average return of the market index is 20.5. Had invested in all the securities in the market portfolio in the given proportion, I don't know how much, sir. 20.5 is the expected return. Can I proceed or not? No. Next item is what? S minus S bar. All of you do along with me. S minus S bar. Tell me. 10 minus 23.5. What is the number? Minus 13.5. Sign important or not? Yes. It is important for covariance. Okay. 16 minus 23.5 minus 7.5. 20 minus 23.5 minus 3.5. 26 minus 23.5 2.5. 30 minus 23.5 6.5. 36 minus 23.5 12.5. 12.5. Now, what will be the total of S minus S bar? It will not be zero. It will not be zero. The weighted total will be zero. Can I proceed further? No. Next. M minus M bar. M minus M bar. 12 minus 20.5 minus 8.5. 12 minus 20.5 minus 8.5. 16 minus 20.5 minus 4.5. 18 minus 20.5 minus 2.5. 22 minus 20.5, 1.5. 24 minus 20.5, 3.5. 30 minus 20.5, it is 9.5. It is M minus M bar. Shall I proceed or not? Next. P into S minus S bar into M minus M bar. Tell me why I am doing this calculation to find out what? Covariance. Okay. Now, 0.1 into 10 into 12. Feel for the numbers. We need calculate be knowing the feel. Okay. 0.1 into 10 into 12. So, the 0.1 into minus 13.5 into minus 8.5. Sorry. Tell me what the number here? 
11 point four seven five. Point one into minus thirteen point five into minus eight point five gives eleven point four seven five. Next, multiply and tell me. Don't wait for me, please. Point one five into minus seven point five into minus four point five. Multiply and tell me what's the number? Five point zero six three. Yes, five point zero six three. Point two into minus three point five into minus two point five. What number I am going to get? One point seven five zero. One point seven five zero. Point two five into two point five into one point five. Tell me the number is how much? Point nine three eight. Okay. Point nine three eight. Next. Point two into six point five into three point five. What is the number? Point four point four point five five zero four point five five point one into twelve point five into nine point five is equal to how much it is? Eleven point eight seven five. Getting it or not? Eleven. Don't look at the slide and tell here. Tell and then put the slide. Eleven point eight seven five. Okay. Don't read like a news. Can I proceed? Now, if I total, I will not total unless I hear from everybody. Everybody will total. 35.651. 35.651. Don't think I'm very childish asking you to do what is on your slide here. You have to get the feel. Or say, first hand information, how it is being done. Right or not? Next, please. Shh. P into S minus S bar the whole square. Tell me why I'm doing this. To find out the standard deviation of the security. Yeah, correct. Huh? Covariance of P into S minus S bar into M minus M bar. Why I am saying P into S minus S bar the whole square? To find out the standard deviation of the security because the question asks you the same. It or not? Now, 13.5 into 13.5 into 0.1. Tell me what is P into S minus S bar the whole square? 18.225. 18.225. Everybody, even if you don't do, at least tell and write. What you will do? What into what into what? 7.5 into 7.5 into 0 0.15. 3.5 squared into 0 0.20. 8.438, 2.450. Tell me the next number. What? 2.5 the whole squared into 0.25. 2.5 into 2.5 into 0.25. What is the number? 1.563. 1.563. Next number, 6.5 into 6.5 into 0 0.2. 6.5 into 6.5 into 0 0.2. The number is what? 8.450. 8.450. Last number, 12.5 squared into 0.1. What is the number? 15.625. 15.625. If I total, I will be getting a number 54.75. That is 54.75. Okay. Now, don't write. What is 35.651? Sigma P into S minus S bar into M minus M bar. What is this 54.75? Sigma, Sigma P into S minus S bar the whole square. Can I proceed? Now, third, last column is what? Sig P into M minus M bar the whole square. P into M minus M bar the whole square. P into M minus M bar the whole square. 0.1 into 8.5 squared. 0.1 into 8.5 squared. What is the number? 7.225. 7.225. 0 0.15 into 4.5 squared. What is the number? 3.038. 3.038. 0 0.20 into 2.5 squared. What is the number? 1.250. 1.250. 0 0.25 into 1.5 square, 0.25 into 1.5 square, the number is how much? 0 0.563, 0 0.563, 0 0.20 into 3.5 square, 0 0.20 into 3.5 square, what is the number? 2.450, number is 2.450, 0 0.1 into 9.5 square, 0 0.1 into 9.5 square, what is the number here? 9.025. Number is 9.025. What is the number total here? 23.65. The total is 23.65. Good morning, Leah. Can I proceed or not? No. Shall I proceed or not? No.
Everything has been computed. Can you go for the next stage? No. I don't. Standard deviation no? security. I don't. Sigma, yes. So we can call the first step as computation table. All things has been done. Okay. Step two. Standard deviation of security. Sigma, yes. Standard deviation of security. Sigma, yes. Can I proceed or not? No. Everything ready made available. What is sigma s? Yes. Square root of sigma p into s minus s bar the whole square. Square root of sigma p into s minus s bar the whole square. Can look at the previous table and tell me what is sigma p into s minus s bar the whole square? 54.75. Simply square root of 54.75. Square root of 54.75. How much is going to be here? 7.4% is equal to 7.4% is equal to 7.4% respond yes or no now next step 2 or step 3 yeah? step 3 standard deviation of market portfolio step 3 standard deviation of market portfolio standard deviation of market portfolio formula square root of sigma P into M minus M bar the whole square. Square root of sigma P into M minus M bar the whole square. Sigma P into M minus M bar the whole square. Can I proceed? Put the numbers here. It is square root of, tell me what is M minus M bar the whole square? 23.55. Square root of 23.55. Is it how much standard deviation of market? 4.85. Market standard deviation is 4.85. It is 4.85. Please tell me, are you following or not? Next. Step 3 or step 4 up? Step 4. Calculation of beta. Step 4. Calculation of beta. Step 4. Calculation of beta. Unlike that. First write the formula, then we can just start doing it. What is the formula? Beta is equal to covariance of security and market. Right. Beta is equal to covariance of security and market divided by, divided by what? Sigma m the whole square. Covariance of security and market divided by sigma m the whole square. Covariance of security and market divided by sigma m the whole square. Respond. Yes or no? No. Write down. Covariance of security and market is equal to covariance of S and M. Security and market is equal to covariance of security and market is equal to tell me the formula substitution. What is that? That is sigma P into S minus S bar into M minus M bar. Sigma P into S minus S bar into M minus M bar. Should we calculate this? Uh, already calculated. Uh, already calculated. Look at the first table and tell me what is P into S minus S by M minus M bar? 35.651. The covariance is 35.651. 35.651. Respond. Yes or no? Now, beta is equal to, we already written the formula, now we write it once again. Beta is equal to 35.651 divided by Beta is equal to 35.651 divided by what is sigma m last slide 4.85 na? so 35.651 divided by 4.85 square 35.651 divided by 4.85 square tell me what is beta number 1.52 times is equal to 1.52 times the meaning is SFL share is 1.52 times riskier than what market is the meaning okay beta is 1.52 times Beta is 1.52 times. Respond yes or no. For this problem, I think it is 9 marks or 10 marks, I don't exactly remember. Is it worth or not worth? Or? <laughs> Nothing there. You just have to substitute what? Numbers and then do the calculation. One need to know these formulas and for doing the hard work of doing what? Calculations, the mark has been given. Can I proceed further? No. Please. Shh. See. Even, let us see the summary of the answer. Let us write down and then go for one small discussion. Okay, write down. Final solution. We have to answer the questions now. Final solution. Final solution. Part A. 
part a question ask you to understand the market a share on share part a we are going to understand the share you expect the return of sfl part a you expect the return of sfl based on their past performance how much can i expect from it 80 percent return on no and expect how much return 23.5 the word the expected return generally can be used to indicate an average return 23.5. Is the 23.5 100% sure return of? No. It is having what? Standard deviation. Risk of SFL share. Risk of SFL share. What is risk of SFL share? 7.4%. Risk of SFL share 7.4%. Stop writing and tell me this is the total risk of the security. Yeah, systematic risk of. The represents what? Total. This risk is both systematic as well as what? Unsystematic. It represents the total. There is a variation of the expected return. That's all. It represents what? Total risk. Later, in let's say next to second class from now, I'll discuss a concept called a short single index model. Where I'll be breaking the 7.4 percent into how much is systematic risk? How much is unsystematic risk using regression analysis? Everybody follow in order. There is one step ahead. We will be discussing in the next stage. Can I proceed now? At present, we should know that the sound point for represents what? Total return. Say so total risk. It consists of both risk due to system as well as what? Company specific risk. In the for return now. Now next stage. Part B. Next is part B. How I want to understand the security? I want to understand the market portfolio. So no, how security can have a risk and return? The portfolio too can have what? Risk and return. The expected return of market. The expected return of market. What is the expected return of market portfolio? 20.5. The expected return of market 20.5. What is the risk of market here? Risk of market is 4.85%. The expected return of market 20.5. Risk of market is 4.85%. 4.85%. Okay. I know about the security now. I know about what the market. I should know them together. Right or not? That is what is what? Beta. Part C is what? Beta. How risky is the security compared to market? Yes, you are right. What the beta it is? 1.52 times. Beta is equal to 1.52 times. Beta is equal to 1.52 times. Okay. Now, see, I want to have a understanding of what is happening in this theory. Na. So, again, not required by the question, but we voluntarily do it just to have more clarity. Can I proceed? Up? Now, see, I put a question to you directly. You answered me. First answer based on Markowitz. Based on Markowitz, I have two investments to make. I can either invest in the security, I can invest in a portfolio. The portfolio I call as what? Market portfolio or a fully diversified portfolio. Respond, yes or no? No. You tell me, if I invest in the share, SFL share, I expect you know, how much return? 23.5. What is the risk? Okay. No, I don't want to invest in the security, I'll invest in what? Portfolio. The portfolio consists of two shares or three shares, the entire market, the entire market. We call it a market portfolio, so no. So, if I invest in the market portfolio, what is the expected return? What is the risk? Tell me, which is good, investing in the share or market portfolio? Answer as per Markowitz. Answer as per what? Markowitz. Which is good, share or market portfolio? Both are what uh, good. You know, both are efficient. You know, share gives more return for more risk. Uh, market gives what? Uh, more return for less return for less risk. Both are efficient. Only my security also efficient. Market mode also is what? Efficient. If it is a curve, it's going to be efficiency front as per the market base. In the return. But that will exist. Another asset called as what? Risk free asset, which will make this curve as a straight line or not. The efficiency frontier changes. It changes in CAL. It changes in what? CML. Also, what? SML. All the three are straight line. Get up. CAL, it is security and what? Risk free asset. Get up. In CML, it is risk based on what uh, market portfolio will be used as a benchmark for evaluation. Yes or no? In SML, that also will be only for what? Correlation, cohesion, risk premium. Right or not? In this problem, I am going to use CAL, leave it. Yeah, CAL is only a work in progress. CML versus SML only. Always is a discussion. Right or not? Now, 
The question did not ask you all those because they did not give me a risk of return. So no, if I want to answer that question, I should know what a government of India bonds return to just go for the comparison return or not. Now, can you assume a risk of return and then do a further calculation or not just to understand or observe what is happening? Everybody can I proceed now? Right now, let us assume. I don't know how the numbers will come out. Now, just after that, I'm giving it. It may be good or bad. Okay. I don't know about external chance, suspense only. Okay. Let us assume. Let us assume risk-free return to be. Let us assume risk-free return to be 10 percent. Can you have it or not? Let us have it. Let us assume risk-free return to be what? 10 percent. Let us assume risk-free return to be 10 percent. Okay. Now. Can we start doing the calculation first? The correct way to calculate is SML. You should be what? SML. Write down SML. Security market line. KE is equal to. KE is equal to. Formula is what? R plus beta into RM minus R. Can I proceed? No. What is R of here? 10 plus beta is how many times? 1.52 into what is the expected market portfolio? 20.5 minus 10. 20.5 minus 10. Tell me it is 10 plus what is 1.52 into 10.5? What is the number here? 15.5. Tell me, is how much here? 25.96. Now, we will come to CML and all later. First, let us understand properly what SML says. Let us understand properly what SML says. Am I having the scale? Huh? What is 10 percent risk free return? Okay, this is what market portfolio in the arena now. See the return on market portfolio is how much percent? 20.5 this is 20.5 percent understood or not now this is having a beta of what one can i proceed or not now see what the sml says is if for a one beta you want a return how much 20.5 percent my security sml security based on the relationship we found the beta to be how much yeah 1.52 so can i say Beta is equal to 1.52. Can I have it here or not? So it is beta is equal to what? 1.52. For this, the return should be somewhere what? It should be somewhere here. In a parade or not? So this should be the equilibrium, say, return for a beta is equal to what? 1.52. Everybody, are you falling or not? No side comments. <laughs> Can I pose it? Okay. Now, this should be for security. Yes. Security, yes. Tell me, it should be how much return here? 25.96. The security should be giving me how much return? 25.96. For beta is equal to what? 1.52. Everybody understood or not? Now, look at our slide and tell me, based on the past history, I believe that this will give me only how much percent? 23.5. That is... 
For me, the evidence is that the secretary will not be giving me how much? 25.96. When I see the scenario analysis or the past data anywhere, I expect the return of the secretary to be only how much percent? 23.5. It is somewhere here. What is 23 percent? What is somewhere here? This is what is the expected return. Yes or no? The expected return is 23.5. Yes, SML return is what? 25.96. Tell me, is this security lying on the efficiency front? Era? Not lying on, not lying. It is lying above or below or below. Is it a good security or bad buy? It's a bad buy because I should have got what? 25.96. I'm not getting. Yes or no? As per Markowitz, you can say as per Markowitz, this is having less risk, we take what uh, less return, it is having what more risk, we take what uh, more risk. But the SML is more scientific because for this risk, if they are giving what this much return, then for this risk, they should have given what uh, so much return, otherwise we are going and investing in what uh, risk we are because combining RF had made my entire decision making very simple, yes or no? So as per Marco, if, Mar if you ask Marco Waves, he will say invest in market portfolio or invest in what? The SFL share, both are what? Equally good. Why is they both equally good? Because uh, both are not inefficient to each other. Is what we said. Because for him, the efficiency frontier is the risky asset portfolio that is going to be Markowitz efficiency frontier. Yes or no? But now, yes, and all, it has become what? A straight line where risk free asset is combined. In the parade we have combined what? Risk every asset. In such a case, is this security efficient or not? Is found using what? The SML. As per SML, I should not invest in the security because for this security is beta, 1.5 beta. I should be asking how much return? Because for a market beta 1, if the market is giving 20.5, market is put as a benchmark, this should be giving how much? 25.96. And here, an assumption is the market line is efficient. Either efficiency frontier, market is assumed to be what? Efficient. Either we call us efficient market hypothesis. What about efficient market hypothesis? We believe the market is efficient and the SML market line is what? Efficient. So, if market is giving this return, security market line, the security to market should be giving only what? This return should be lying on that line, but the actual return is what? Lying below that line. That is lying below efficiency frontier. Don't invest is the answer for this. In the parator now. Can I proceed further? Now. So, the security gives me only how much expected return? 23.5. But it should have given me 25.96 for this risk. So, I will be rejecting this particular SFL yes, for investment. Point number one, accept it. Can I proceed now further? Now, point number two is, if the same thing is done by what? CML. CML. I don't write beta here, I write sigma here. Yes, and a beta is that portion of risk related to market. And I write what? Sigma here and then do it. Enough for it or not? No. In that case, can I do the same problem using CML or not? No. I forgot the formula for CML. You tell me, first I'll settle down, then you tell me. CML is equal to what the formula? I can say RS. In the security, you know, return of a security. If I invest in portfolio, it becomes what? RP. But return of a security is nothing but what? R plus sigma S by sigma M into RM minus R. Only thing is correlation is missing. In that case, tell me. What is R of everybody? 10 plus. Look at the notebook. What standard of security? 7.4. What market standard deviation? 4.85. What is RM minus RF? Nia, so look, 20.5 minus 10. Are you sleeping awake? Good morning, friends. What is R? What is 20.5? Market portfolios return. What is 10? Return of the discovery asset. Okay. And this is 7.4 is sigma S yes. by what? Sigma M into 10. Tell me what is the number here? It is. First tell me 10 plus, what is this number? 16.02 is equal to how much? 26.02. 10 plus 16.02 is equal to 26.02. Now, I have a doubt. Here, I expect only 25.96. In expect what? 26.02. Why is CML greedy? It eh? is expecting more. Why is it expecting more? It requires more because it has not asked the premium only for the systematic rest. It also for asked for what? Unsystematic rest. Hence the required time becomes more. Everybody, are you following what I am saying? So, 
this is the first stage this becomes what second stage inga romba simple ya for taking this 4.85 risk for taking this what 4.85 risk the market is giving me a premium of 10.5 percent adaba for taking a 4.85 risk if the market is giving a premium of 10.5 percent for taking how much sir 7.4 risk the market should have given me how much premium 16.02 plus the risk free investment how much sir 10 i should be earning how much 26.02 but unfortunately the sfl sir is expected to give only how much 23.5 is falling in capital market line or below capital market line below capital market line that's point is so no worry change instead of measuring the risk as beta i mean risk as what sigma that's the only change everybody are you understanding or not yes, i'm again again so you're saying only to show what differentiation stage by stage up to this are you following up with this the problem stands completed now if you see what happened markovic says both security market both are what equally good why markovic says both are equally good because one is high return high risk and is what low return low risk he does not see for this risk is a return sufficient are you following what i'm saying he only compares absolutely the risk and what return his efficiency frontier is the curve that is called markovic efficiency frontier is or no what is bad about that efficiency frontier he does not concern another market called as discovery market where some base return is anyhow earned without taking a risk kada ba enna yes or no in that case what concerns two markets here it is cal CML, SML, all the three concerns what? Both the markets, the risky asset and then what? Risky free asset. In that, which is better? CML is better than what? CAL due to its implementability. Is or no? And SML is better than what? CML because they say ask the return only for what? Systematic risk. Ultimately, the ultimate model to be used is what? CAP. That is why in today's world, CAP is what? Widely used in spite of lot of criticism about the assumptions. Are you following what I am saying? that advance is also again apt is more advanced than what capm but still people are not using very popularly the arbitrage pricing theory till date in any share market analysis they always use only what capm now it is super much has not had been what undermined by any new theories everybody following or not so for that more empirical research there are other issues and all not relevant for our exam preparation hence i don't want to confuse you more are you following on so which is superior model here yeah? capm compared to cml apt is conceptually superior i don't know apt is what very good conceptually superior but people find it difficult to what apply it due to the ease in application convenience even a child can understand this equation sml correct ba it's very very simple equation that makes cml very very popular are you following uh, now so do you understand this uh, now write down this i think i finished copying uh? yes, sir. this na inge potunga finish copying or not now if you want you can copy this diagram also those are not copy raise your hand copy yeah. and this return is 23.5% ஒண்ணுமேல <laughs> 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 return of security is equal to please shh. sigma s rf plus sigma s by sigma m into rm minus rf return of security is equal to rf plus 
sigma s by sigma m into rm minus r. Don't talk, please. 10 plus 7.4 by 4.85 into 20.5 minus 10. 10 plus 7.4 by 7.4.85 into 20.5 minus 10. Is equal to 10 plus 16.02. 26.02 please 26.02 26.02 stop talking can i proceed or not now if you want you can also draw a small diagram for this cml Please draw along with me. This is called as what? Market portfolio. Stop talking, please. If you all are alert, away, tell me what I should write here. Sigma M. What is the standard deviation of market? What is sigma M? Look at the work. How much? 4.85. Sigma M is 4.85. The standard deviation of market is 4.85. For the 4.85 risk, I am asking, or the market is giving how much return? 20.5. It gives a return of 20.5 percent. In a part, or not? No. But for my security, I have a different standard deviation or not? No. What is the standard deviation of, of my security? Tell me what is the standard deviation of security? Sigma S yes. is equal to how much? 7.4 percent. 7.4 percent. Now you should be telling me the X, what is the return that is required? The required return as per the CML is how much? 26.02 the required return should be 26.02 now respond it's or no but for the 7.4 yes, the share is giving only what 23.5 somewhere here it is giving me the return how much percent 23.5 it is falling on cml below cml below cml if this is the efficiency front here the security is inefficient okay now it falls below CML. So this line is called as capital market line. This is called as risk free 10%. Everybody can I proceed or not? Write down conclusion. Write down conclusion please. Finish copying up a conclusion. Number one. Shall I proceed? Please. Never heard. Don't draw art and art. Just draw a small diagram. Okay, now. Shall I proceed? Write down. Conclusion. Point number one. As per Markowitz, as per Markowitz, both the share and market portfolio are equally good. As per Markowitz, both the share and market portfolio are equally good. As per Markowitz, both the share and market portfolio are equally good. Because, because market portfolio gives low return for low risk because market portfolio gives low return for low risk and the share high return for high risk and the share high return for high risk and the share high return for high risk
this is true this is true if we ignore this is true if we ignore if we ignore what if we ignore here if we ignore the risk free market this is true if we ignore the risk free market and have efficiency frontier this is true if we ignore risk free market and have efficiency frontier purely based on risky assets this is true if we ignore risk free market and have efficiency frontier purely consisting of risky asset and have efficiency frontier purely con purely consisting of risky assets did you all understand the first point or not yes, next sir. point number 2 point number 2 however as per cml and sml however as per cml and sml the sml share is not good as per cml and sml the sml share is not good the sml share is not good because the required return because the required return which is 25.96 now are you following up which is 25.96 or 26.02 both systems are calculated now which is 25.96 or 26.02 is the required return is more than the required return is more than the expected return of 23.5 the required return is more than the expected return of 23.5 the required return is more than the expected return of 23.5 respond everybody are you following or not so now last point point about 2 or 3 and 3 in sml we want only in sml we want only how much percent 25.96 percent in sml we want only 25.96 percent from the share but in CML we ask, but in CML we ask, how much? 26.02. But in CML we ask, 26.02. Why? Tell me why yeah, we ask more? Write down. Because we require the risk premium for, because we require the risk premium for the entire risk because we require the risk premium for the entire risk in CML because we require the risk premium for the entire risk in CML we require the risk premium for the entire risk in CML everybody are you comfortable or not now with this we have completed this particular discussion can I proceed further now see based on this just one observation and then we can go don't uh, say i'm not allowing you to go further okay see whenever you hear the news about rbi cutting interest rate rbi increasing interest rate have you watched the share market news or not yes, if you have watched carefully green na, share market increasing red means share market what decreasing now that's how they represent it okay tell me when the rbi cuts the interest rate what about the share market prices tell me RBA slashes interest rate, interest rate 0.25% cut, rate cut, they say or not done. When RBA reduces interest rate, what about the share market? Tell me. Yes. Share prices increase or decrease? Sir? Increase. Increase or decrease? Sir? Increase. Share price what? Increases. When the RBA cuts the, that is increases the interest rate, the share price what? Decreases. It is very simple because when so when RBA increases interest rate, the risk free asset itself is giving you more interest. 
Enappa, it is not a... So the corporate bonds or residence gives you what? More interest. In that case, for the share to be on par with them, to become, to have an efficiency frontier, where the share should be going into them, they should also what? Decrease the price so that their return investment also increases. Are you following? When RBA increases the interest rate, two way of understanding it here. When RBA one increases the interest rate, then risk-free asset gives you more interest. Suppose that the risk is giving you 25% interest, yeah, the investment is SFL, sir. Are you following what I am saying? So when RBA increases the interest rate, what happens is the expected return KE also increases. Yeah. You know, that is R of increases, K is equal to what? R of plus beta into R of minus R of and so on. So what happens is, then the share price has to what? Decrease for them to cope up with what? Uh, the other angle. Are you following what I am saying? Same way, if it is interest rate is what? Slash. Then the share market is already at what? Uh, higher price. They can reduce the price, still be in the SML. Are you following what I am saying? Uh, this is one way of understanding it. Can I proceed further? Now, next. Can you just go for the other sums? With this, we complete solution to question number. 15. Okay, now. Take question number 16, please. Once again, a pass examination problem. Please. The following table gives an analyst expected return on two shares. Spending mistake here. Stamp the two TW on two shares for a particular market return. Market return may be put percentages here. Are you awake? Huh? Yes, sir. So, market return may be 6%, 20%. Aggregation share can give me 2%, 30%. And differences are 8%, 16%. What are the betas of the two shares? What is the expected return on each share if the market return is equally likely to be 6% or 20%? If the risk free rate is 7%, and that market return is equally likely to be 6%, sorry it is wrong at time, 6% or 20%, what is the risk? Make this 5% or 6% or 20%, what is the SML? What are the alphas of the two shares? This is question here, okay. I am hearing voices, stop talking. Can we start um, now? Let us understand the question in perspective before we start doing the solution. Okay. See, I am looking at three investments. How many investments here? Three investments. Can you name the three investments? Investment in market portfolio, investment in aggressive share, investment in defensive share. Three assets I am looking at it. It's not a, in a market also is a portfolio only. Everybody understood what I am saying. So now, let us see what happens. I do a scenario analysis. Okay. See, there can be a depression. Just I am taking two situations. There can be what? A recession or a depression. There can be what? A, a boom in the market. Better not now. Shall I proceed? Now, okay, it is boom that is understood. Okay, now what is so great about boom? Can I proceed? Now, depression and then what? Boom. First of all, if there is a recession in the economy, how the market performs? Market is expected to give me how much return? 6%. If suppose the economy revised, performs exceedingly well, I don't want to use the word boom. It performs what? Exceedingly well. Now, understood or not? Tell me, what is the percentage return here? 20%. Now, in the two situations, please stop. In the two situations, what aggressive share is expected to perform? Perform at what? 2% or 30%. Defensive share at 8% and then 16%. And uh, 
In the second point of the person said, there's an equal chance, 50 percent, 50 percent for what? These two scenarios to happen. Respond. Are you following? Um, now, this is the question given here. Now, the question is, calculate beta for aggressive share. Calculate beta for defensive share. Tell me how many formulas we know for calculating beta? Three formulas. What three formulas? Change in security return divided by change in market return. Second is what? Sigma S A S by sigma M into correlation of S and M. Covariance of S and M divided by sigma M the whole square. Yes or no? Now, that is the remaining two, second and third formula will be used when I have more than two data. So, when I have what? more than two data. Have more than two, only two, uh, only two. Depression and then what? Boom. In that case, I can use the first formula or not? No. Graphically through regression, you understand all the three formulas in the single index model. Only two data given. They also calculate what? Beta. Simply calculate beta as what? Uh, change in security return divided by change in market return. Simple definition. Now, market return can move from 6 to what? 20. How much percent? 14 percent. When I have a depression, the boom, economic scenario changing, yes or no? So the change in market earn is 14 percent, yes or no? When the market moves by 14 percent, aggressive moves by how much percent? 28 percent. Is aggressive having the same risk as market? Uh, riskier than market? Uh, riskier than market. What is the risk here? Two times. The beta is equal to two times. Respond, yes or no? In case of defense, when the market fluctuates by how much percent? 14 percent. The defense moves only by how much percent? 6 percent. Uh, 8 percent so it can be 8 by 14 it becomes a defensive stock everybody are you following or not now write down first have you written the facts sir write on facts first let's do it together let's do it together facts Finish coming up. Please. Can I proceed up? No. Next. First part is what? Part 1. Calculation of beta. We have four parts. We are going to answer one by one. Let us quickly do it. Part 1. Calculation of beta. Calculation of beta. Can do it together or not? Tell me the formula first. Beta is equal to, please, beta is equal to change in security return divided by change in market return. Beta is equal to change in security return divided by change in market return. Tell me, which is equal to, what is change in security return for A? Beta A is equal to, beta of aggressive stock is equal to, what minus what divided by what minus what? Tell me. 30 minus 2 divided by 20 minus 6. 30 minus 2 divided by 20 minus 6. How many times? 2 times. Beta is equal to 2 times. Beta D, beta of defensive stock is equal to, beta of defensive stock is equal to, what minus what divided by what minus what? 16 minus 8 divided by 20 minus 6. 16 minus 8 divided by 20 minus 8 is equal to 0 0.57 times. Beta is equal to 0 0.57 times. Beta is equal to 0 0.57 times. Shall I proceed or not? Now, second question, part 2. Read the question. What is the expected return on each share if the market return is equally likely to be 6% or 20%? Now, depression may also happen. Boom may also happen. What are the probability for both? 50-50. Equal chance. Can I proceed on? Now, tell me, from aggressive share, will I expect 2% or 30%? Average. 
I expect what? Average. Simple average or weighted average? Yeah. Both are same. Because probability is what? Same. It should be what? Same only. Anyhow, you can use simple or what? Weighted average here. Same you have to find out for what? Defensive star. Can I present or not? Write down. Next. Step part to 2. Write down part 2. Calculation of expected return. Calculation of expected return. We'll do it together. Calculation of expected return. It was aggressive. Aggressive share. So the word expected means what? Weighted average return is or no? First right situation. Depression boom. Depression boom. Probability. What probability? 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Return. What is the return expected from aggressive share rate is 230. 230. Weighted return 1 and then 15. Weighted return 1 and then 15. The expected return is how much percent? 16 percent. Defensive. Defensive. Tell me what are two situations? Depression, boom situation depression boom what is the probability 0 0.5 0 0.5 the return for defensive is 8 16 the weighted return is 4 and then 8 the expert return is 12 percent defensive expert return is 12 percent we don't expect extremes we expect what average the word average should be weighted average, where the weights are the probabilities. In this problem, even if we calculate simple average, not an issue because the weights are same. Can I proceed or not? Next. Finish copying, huh? Okay. No. Those are not copied, I see, huh? Shall I proceed on? Please. Can I proceed? Now. Part 3. What is part 3? Risk free rate is how much percent? 7 percent. Market return is equally likely to be 6 percent or 20 percent. What is SML? In the part or not? Write down. Next. Part 3. Calculation of SML return. Calculation of SML return. Calculation of SML return. Before that, tell me the formula. What is SML return formula? K is equal to R plus beta into R minus R up. In the part, right or not? Now, let's discuss on that, right? Now, in that, do we have R for the problem or not? Yes. What is the idea? 7 percent. Beta you have or not? Yes. Already calculated part. Aggressive as 2 times. Difference is what? Point 0.5 times. I have R of, I have what? Beta. But I should have RM or not? What is RM? Expected return of market portfolio. What is RM? Yeah? Expected return of market portfolio. Will tell me market portfolio. I am expecting RM to be 20 or 6 average or average. What average? Yeah? Beta average. Once again, respond yes or no. Write down. Next. In the try. Step 1. Step 1, calculation of RM, calculation of RM, bracket line, expected return of market portfolio, calculation of RM, in bracket right, expected return of market portfolio, expected return of market portfolio. Can I start or not? Write down, RM is equal to 0.5 into what is the return during this particular depression period? 6 plus 0.5 into or return during boom period? 20. Tell me it is how much it is here? 13%. RM is equal to 13%. RM is equal to 13%. Respond yes or no? No. Write the formula. K E next try step 2. Step 2, this is step 1, write down step 2, SML return. Step 2, SML return. 
ಅನ್ನೈಂದ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಕೆ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಎಫ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬೀಟಾ ಇಂಟು ಆರ್ ಎಮ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಫ್ ಆರ್ ಎಫ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬೀಟಾ ಇಂಟು ಆರ್ ಎಮ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಫ್ ಆರ್ ಎಫ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬೀಟಾ ಇಂಟು ಆರ್ ಎಮ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಫ್ ಕೆನೆ ಬಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನಾವು ಎರಡು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಕೆ ಇ ಫಾರ್ ಟು ಶ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಗ್ರೆಸಿವ್ ಎಂದ್ ವಾಲ್ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸಿವ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಗ್ರೆಸಿವ್ ಕೆ ಇ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಅಗ್ರೆಸಿವ್ ಕೆ ಇ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಆರ್ ಎಫ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಇಂಟು ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಇಂಟು ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಆರ್ ಎಮ್ ಇಸ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ನ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಐಸ್ ನಮಲ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕೊಂಡು ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸಿವ್ ಕೆ ಇ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಕೆ ಇ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಇಂಟು ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಇಂಟು ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಇಂಟು ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಹಮ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಟೆನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟು ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪಾ